So one of the biggest questions us current RG Ally owners have is, should we upgrade to the upcoming Ally X, with it going on sale in exactly a week at the time of recording this? But let's blast through the top 11 questions to ask ourselves, and if the answer is yes to most of these, then absolutely it could very well be worth the upgrade to us. So let's dive straight in and start with the most basic question to ask ourselves, which is do we want the colour of our ally to be in black, which is a key consideration for many of us. If we prefer our ally in white, then of course sticking with our current OG ally is probably best. But for those of us who do prefer that amazing swish black aesthetic that will only be available on the new Ally X, then it's a tick in the upgrade column. At two is comfort, and if you do find the current ally already super comfortable and can play for hours without our hands getting numb, then stick with this. However, the Ally X promises to be a little bit thicker and a bit more grippy to hold, which is especially very welcome for those of us with bigger hands, plus the space between the thumbsticks and face buttons has been tweaked for extra comfort too. So if the answer is yes in desiring the very best in ergonomic design, then the Ally X improves on this. Key question three for us relates to the D-pad. Now, if we find the D-pad completely fine on the current ally, or perhaps just don't really use it for say old retro or fighting games, then an upgrade really isn't needed. If however we do use the D-pad pretty heavily and do want the very best D-pad for our retro games in particular, then the Ally X is the way to go, with a completely redesigned D-pad that reduces stickiness but accentuates inputs on the eight-axis wheel. At four is a big one, and that is the thumbsticks. Now this is quite a personal choice, so if you do prefer the much looser thumbsticks as found on the current ally, then just stick with this. However, if you are like an awesome viewer, K1 though, and just really not a big fan at all of the looser type, and if you do prefer things um, a little more stiffer. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. <laughs> and not just this, but also more of a pronounced grip lip. Grip lip, grip lip? I think I've just made up a new marketing slogan. More in line with the fantastic Steam Deck OLED thumbsticks, then this is another tick in upgrading to the Ally X. Question five is another huge aspect of the Ally, which is do we want a working SD card? Now there are quite a few of us who have upgraded the internal SSD or just don't really need to use the SD card, in which case stick with the current Ally. However, if the answer is yes, that you do really miss using the SD card, especially for using it with awesome emulation SD cards, like I covered in this vid, link in the description, then yep, the Ally X should put an end to our SD card woes. Our sixth question to ask ourselves is, do we want quieter, cooler fans? If you're happy with the level of fan noise and heat that the current ally generates, then stick with this. Although the brand new BIOS 339 update has made the fans quite a bit louder, as shown in this vid. But if we do want smaller fans for more airflow, three exhaust vents, up to 24% more airflow to make what should be a quieter and cooler device, then another tick for an upgrade to the Ally X. Question seven to ask ourselves is, do we want a slight bump in performance? Now both obviously have the beast that is the Z1 Extreme chip, and if the answer is me not too bother, then stick with the current ally. But if yes, you do want a few extra FPS in games due to the upgraded RAM from 16 to 24 gigabytes, and also a faster read write speeds of 7500, then it's a ticking upgrade into the Ally X. A question to ask ourselves for eight is, do we find we accidentally press the rear M buttons on the current ally? If the answer is no, not at all, then yeah, stick with the current ally. But if yes, you accidentally do press them or, or just want smaller and better placed M buttons, then another win for the Ally X. So we're in our final three questions now, and at nine, and a key one for me is, do you want more internal storage? If you find that the current 512GB is more than enough on the current ally, then no need to upgrade. But if you're anything like me, where you're at max capacity, then yeah, the Ally X with a whopping 1TB storage is incredibly appealing. Not only that, but with the new M.2 2280 configuration, it does make it a much better solution if you want to upgrade the SSD ourselves, as opposed to the old 2230 drive. Question 10 is, do you want two USB-C ports? If the answer is no and you're perfectly happy with just the one, then there's no need to upgrade. But if it's a yes and you do want two, so for example you want one to charge and another port for something like a display, then yep, I take in the upgrade to the Ally X. And finally at 11, and this is potentially the biggest reason to upgrade for many of us is the battery. Hey, if you're happy to keep plugging in, which some of us are and don't really mind this, 
But if you're only playing short bursts and don't need more battery, then stick with the current ally. But if you're sick of having to keep plugging in and play quite a lot of time away from a charger, like I do in my hot tub, then an upgrade to the Ally X is pretty much a must, which offers a crazy 80 watt hour battery with what may probably be 3 hours of AAA intensive games and currents here in the UK are advertising up to 13 hours, which if true would surpass the incredible battery of even the Steam Deck OLED. I would love to know if you had the most ticks in the Keep Your Current Ally column or whether mostly in the Upgrade to the Ally X column. Let us know in the comments. This week is my last week with my Ally before I sell it at the weekend, having just pre-ordered the Ally X. I do plan to make two final summary vids with it, so stay tuned for them. And a tip for us here in the UK is that it may be worth, like I have, to take out a Corey's care plan for just £3 extra a month, which will massively reduce any stress if anything does go wrong with, with our new Ally X. Again, a huge thanks to all of you who voted for me to get the Ally X in a recent community poll. And I genuinely would have kept the Ally or even got the Legion Go if that was the content you were most interested in. Such is the level of respect and appreciation I have to each and every one of you awesome viewers. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Some people will burn the bridge and then ask why you don't visit. So many of us have had toxic friendships and relationships, but let's not allow anyone to guilt us due to their insecurity and to just keep focused on the amazing future ahead of us. So stay encouraged today, guys. I really hope this video has helped you to decide whether or not upgrading to the Ally X is the right move for you. So hit like if it has and subscribe if you're new here. And click the top right if you want to know all about the new BIOS 339 and the bottom right all about this epic emulation SD card for the Ally. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.